Okay, now comes an even easier one. Okay, again, six, uh, again we have cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, but this time I'm going to extend. I'm going to extend one of the sides. Okay, this looks like I don't know. Let me actually draw it a little bit. A little bit weirder. Okay, at least they're all straight lines. Um, okay, so there's a cyclic quadrilateral. You can see it's just four chords that all touch. In other words, all the sides of this quadrilateral form chords of a circle. Okay. What do we know about cyclic quadrilaterals now? What adds up to it? The opposite? No. Angles. Opposite angles add up to 180. This theorem says so. If I've got A, B, C, D, E, okay? This theorem says that the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the opposite interior. You remember the exterior means I extend one of the sides. Okay, this would be an exterior. Exterior, he would be equal, that angle there would be equal to the opposite interior. In other words, that angle there. Okay? See, this is the adjacent interior because he's, he's right next to it. Now, what is the opposite angle for this one? What is, it can't be that one. He's, he's not opposite him. He's not opposite him. It, no, it's B. What is opposite this one? Is that one. Okay? If I were to connect this, the, um, the diagonals, I would put one there, and I would put one there. I can't connect a diagonal from here to there. That's a side. I can't connect a diagonal from here to there. That's a side. Okay, so opposite angles in a in a quadrilateral is the ones that would connect the diameter, uh, the uh, diagonals. I mean, okay, so okay, the opposite interior angle. If I say this is the exterior angle, it means well. If I look at the one on the inside, what's opposite this one? That would be the opposite interior. Okay. And these two angles are equal. Can you think of a good reason why? It's really very simple if you just think about it. Which angle? Why is this angle equal to that angle? It follows directly from the theorem we just did. What did the previous theorem tell us? No, it didn't say that. The previous theorem said opposite angles add up to 180. So if this one is x and that one is y, these two add up to 180. Good. So why would this one also be x? Also, x and y are not equal. No, x and y is not equal. Okay, uh, I'm just writing down the theorem: the exterior angle of a triangle oh, 
sorry, no, of a cyclic quadrilateral, sorry, of a cyclic quadrilateral, that's an I quadrilateral equals the opposite interior. angle okay um the to prove i have to prove that edc is equal to abc okay so i'm just going to make it easy and say well let abc equal x and let a d c equal y and then from the from the previous theorem i've got that x plus y is equal to 180 the reason is it's cyclic quad interior angles cyclic quad interior angles add up to 180 suppose you should say interior opposite or opposite interior angles okay but then also we see that c d e plus y equals 180 you see here c d e this angle plus a this angle y must also equal 180 angles on straight line Therefore, we can say that C, D, E must also equal X. Because if X plus Y is 180 and C, D, E plus Y is 180, that must mean that these two must be equal. Because they add up to the same thing. Therefore, C, D, E is equal to, what was X? A, B, C. And that was what we wanted to prove. CDE is equal to ABC.